In this game, I'll be playing as Pinocchio in a dark reimagining of the character as I try and save a city from a puppet robot uprising. It's a new Souls-like game where Pinocchio is the main character, but all of the rest of the puppets have been doing a right old Westworld and taking out the humans. I'll be making choices along the way about whether I tell lies or not. That directly affects the story, my humanity, and there are three possible endings. Please do tell a lie and have your big nose grow and push that like button if you want to see more of this one. Let's begin Lies of P. Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. We're in. I saved a butterfly recently. That's exactly what happened. And then I was a real boy. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Well, you found me. This place is a bit of a mess. Someone's knocked over some jam. Jam will already start soon. I see they got Jiminy too. But we her name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Jiminy Cricket is now Gemini the Lamp. Up and down for selecting in your bag. A hold to activate extra bag. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. Jiminy just has to um, be against my butt for the whole game. There he is, just resting there on my cheek. But the streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. Just It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. Normal day in London. Um, select a combat style. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what I did last time. I think I did... Dexterity? Path of the Sweeper, Strength. Hmm. Maybe we should have a balanced build. Like, can we change this? Oh, here we go. A balanced combat style with power and speed. Quick and nimble combat style for striking the enemy's weak spots. Heavy combat style. Cuts down enemies using great physical strength. Hmm. It would be balanced, I think. Destination Hotel Court. Recommend escaping from this location. Yeah, balanced little puppet. Oh, yeah, it's loud. I got myself a pirate sword. Happy with that. Oh, here we go. Number one. Lock on off. Normal attack, special attack. Hold down for a charge attack. Yeah, that's definitely not the weapon I had last time. I think I did the dexterity one. This will be a new experience for us. From the demo. Filthy. Is that oil? I guess oil comes out of Pulse cells. Use pulse cells to recover HP. A maximum number of times pulse cells can be used. When you reach the maximum, the cell will be discharged. If you attack enemies while the cell is discharged, pulse cell gradually charged. So that's kind of our flask, right? Okay, so dodge. Dodge. Do oh, hello. Dodge. A dim ergo fragment. They just blurt in their oil all over me, the filthy buggers. Right. Oh, let's see what's through here. 
guard. You can block enemy attacks by guarding. If your guard is successful, your character takes reduced damage, but it consumes stamina. Guard regain accumulates, but gradually decreases. If a guard succeeds right before hit, it triggers a perfect guard. If you if when a perf perfect guard is successful, you will not receive damage. Only stamina is consumed. Like this. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Be gone! Killing my own kind. I'm better than you. I'm more than just a mere automaton. What's all that stomping? Oh dear. Is there a sneak? Or I just walk quietly? Vibrated very aggressively in my hand. Let's sprint. How do I sprint? It's gotta be a sprint. Passenger's note. If anyone finds this note, get out of the station. Run! Oh yeah, I love this. It's how you sharpen your weapon back up. So fun. I was gloating at the one that I just got, and then that one made me jump. Someone has moved. There are doors and ladders all through Krat that are locked by devices. Okay, so this is creating shortcuts, as we know. If you die, you just come back through here. Um, okay, this lad is pulverizing someone there. I mean, these are all the bodies of people. These puppets have gone cray-cray in Krat Krat, and they are killing the populace. So, you know, oh. That's what I'm here for. And it's time to end the party. End the puppet party. Oh my gosh, you're kind of scary. Imagine if police were giant robots like this. Terrifying. Ah. Oh dear. Get that stamina back up, boy. Okay, we need to... It's one of these. Get those dodges going. Ah! That was a cool little slide. Hold for a charged attack. While you're attacking, a white outline appears around the enemy's HP bar. When this happens, you can make the enemy staggered with a charged attack or the Fable Arts. Oh. Fatal attack. Face a staggered enemy and RB it. He's in two. He's half the puppet he used to be. I wonder where that would be the key for. Main door or something? Ah, maybe if I go back out this way. Oh, I got my Ah, stop. What are you doing? Calm down, P. 
think I just accidentally triggered a special move. I was looking for the run button. Oh, it's B. Ah, there we go. Got it. Look at that. Fortunate. Now watch this. His shirt gets wet. Little touches. Look how it adds to it slowly as well. Slowly getting soaked. And then it becomes like fully wet and see through. Very cool. Very, very cool. I mean, look at this place. The architecture, you know? Sort of thing that makes you want to go somewhere in Europe and have a look around, like a Prague or something. Stargazer activated. Use a stargazer for fully recovering HP and stamina. Basically a bonfire. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Public doors will exceed danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment... Mom, Gather mom, ergo, mom, clever mom. one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever. So be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. Level it up. Get some life and stamina I would like please. Very important for me because I'd be dodging. No, don't can't level up. There you go. I'll be uh, be dodging a lot. Oh, we'll see. You're no match for my Pinocchio-like ways, my friend. No strings on me, sir. Which way are we going? Grab this. Did a thing just wake up? from the other side. Use belt item. Throw for a long ranged attack. I also kind of get, you guys remember that movie, I think it was just called AI, about the robots in the future. And it's like the kid from the sixth sense is like the little robot that thinks he's a real boy. Is that actually a retelling of Pinocchio as well? Is that is that movie a reimagining of Pinocchio? Must be right. Now, does this open from this side or the other side? Ah, the other side. Hello, boys. I'm trying to dodge you, but it's not working, girl. Mind. Weird Tesla bots. Should we watch that movie sometime? I'm also going to read the Pinocchio book at some point. I don't know exactly when, but on my podcast, I read books. I'm going to read Pinocchio. The dog scared me. Because apparently, the book version. Not at all like the Disney version. 
apparently it's really kind of dark, I've been told. So, I mean, like most fairy tales are before they're Disneyfied. Like, I've read The Little Mermaid, I've read Beauty and the Beast, I've read a bunch. Man, I love this weather. It's called Down to Sleep, by the way. It's on... Uh, YouTube mainly is where you would hear everything. There is also Spotify and there are everywhere you get podcasts. And there's the Patreon if you want to hear absolutely everything. Hmm. Oh, I can interact. Dear citizens of Croft, the recent public frenzy is believed to be just a momentary glitch. There is no cause for alarm. Do not panic whatever you may hear. The puppets are, naturally, imprinted with the Grand Covenant that prioritizes human safety above all. Your active cooperation is requested and never forget that your Sure, sure, sure. The propaganda is in full swing. The machine. But IP shall rage against it. Some enemies become red and use a strong attack called a fury attack. You can't dodge or guard it, but you can counter with a perfect guard. Ready for perfect guard? In a, any second now. guard off. Not good at parrying. I've said this before, and in any of these that I play, I am terrible at it, but I'll do my best. Get out. And I think the reason I feel like I'm terrible is I sort of feel like I should be getting it every time. And really, unless you're amazing at a game, it's hard to get a parry every single time. But I feel like I should. I want to be amazing at everything, and if I'm not, I don't want to try. You know what I mean? curse of being a perfectionist. Are you a perfectionist? Let me know in a comment. I'm trying to be less of one just because, you know, it's not really a great way to be, especially when you're trying to, like, produce things and make things. And, uh, perfect is the enemy of the good. Sometimes it's just got to be good enough, you know? Down attack, so drop off of here and then do it, but I can't touch. Ah, there we go. Oh! I got caught on the wall. Otherwise, that was almost perfect. I think that shortcuts here, yeah? Can I not open this? not. Oh yeah, I should uh, sharpen my weapon. Become a little Catherine wheel. Baby, you're a firework. And then we're on. Up or down? Collect that. Can I run and jump? Surely I can jump, no? Can't jump. Fable Catalyst. Oh! You guys really just Come out of nowhere, don't you? Sneaking up on me. Okay. 
Okay, shortcut opened. Right? Yes. The Psychus. Ah, oh, first boss time. Hello, who are you? I can talk to you. Do you know what? I'm remembering now from the demo. I was out here so many times, I did not spot this guy once. And the amount of times I repeated this boss and kept spawning out here and running in. And then comments were like, there's a guy right there. Like, how did you not see him? Like, I mean, to be fair, he's kind of camouflaged. It's not like he stands. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm glad I missed. Hello there. Welcome to Krat, visitor. I didn't think there were any stalkers left to fight the puppets. You didn't hear? Figures. The whole organization fell apart. All that's left are wannabes and amateurs who think they can fight on their own. You ought to buy something while you're at the festival. You can't rely on yourself alone. He's ready for Halloween early. He's going as a mummy. We need to practice dodging. To repair this first. In case that thing punches me out. Now we haven't died yet. Wouldn't it be amazing if I killed the boss without dying? Wouldn't it? Could he? Would he? Could he possibly? Would it happen? It's also where I fall down on Dark Souls and stuff. It's like, I don't know what I'm doing with points and weapons, dude. Like, just do it for me. <laughs> Are you guys ready? You ready to go to the circus? What's your favorite thing at the circus and why is it the clowns? Your clown world. What else even is there at the circus? That's being real. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying. I remember you. Stuff to throw, man. Oh, I'm a bit scared. The animation takes so long. What's up? Oh, no. 
timing was so difficult. Oh, I need help. Okay, not a, not a bad first try because I was pretty thrown by him for a second. We'll get it in a couple, I think. Sort of um, getting to grips with my special moves and such as well. Also, like, he had the white bar thing and I was holding the RB. And it didn't do the stagger. Maybe it's RT. Maybe it's because I'm on a different controller. I'm on PS5, but it's like for Xbox. On PC. Alright. I'm going to try aggressive. Some LB and Y does. That's not a move. Lie or die. I like change it. I like changed my moves or something. this hit him fail no oh, p p p p p p p p you were so close ah <laughs> uh, it looks like that's the way be aggressive and stagger and then finish him off All right, fourth time. We can we can do this this time. Yeah, okay. Switch weapon. I don't have another weapon, do I? Rum, pum, pum, pum. You lost your ergo. I'm a real boy. Ah, eh. 
Naughty. Naughty. P P P P P P. Get perfect guarded, son. Use Blade Fable Arts while guarding. Use Handle Fable Arts. Oh. Weapons have distinct blades and handles that have their own Fable Art. Fable Arts use up Fable slots, and different Fable Arts use a different number of slots. Charge Fable slots by attacking enemies with weapons. me. I'm stuck on him. I can't do the fatal because I'm stuck. Cheat. You're a cheat, sir. Come on, P. Come on, P. Heal it up, PP. that block up, mate. Get that block up, mate. There you go, son. You got him. I think I've got to learn to do more blocking, a mixture of blocking and guarding. Try to parry the um, red attacks, maybe like do a bit of blocking with the other attacks. Only kind of start really dodging once health is quite low, maybe? I don't know if this is going to be as like rolly as rolly and dodgy as a Dark Souls. When I play Dark Souls, I'm just rolling absolutely everywhere, I'll be honest. Talk. Hmm? Hmm, okay. 
Hotel Kratz, the greatest luxury you'll ever experience. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. With the ability to lie. When I was growing up, I had puppets, and I was, like, trying to do ventriloquism at one point. And I still have one of the puppets that I had when I was a kid as a monkey. One that you, like, put your hand up in. And, um... <laughs> move the mouth with your hand like a Muppet. I loved all that stuff, dude. The Muppets. Probably the Muppets that got me into that. And plus, just, like, so many kids' shows are like that. Um, when I was growing up, were puppet based. I loved all that stuff. And I had like some marionettes, the ones that are on strings. Um, but those would always get tangled. There was such a way to like, a method to storing them. And I, I just like, never did it. It's pretty, pretty lazy to be honest. So it's kind of, they would just always get crazy, crazy tangled. They'd be fun for a while and they'd get crazy tangled. I was no good at it. So I prefer the sort of Muppety ones. Welcome to the Sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Who are you? Oh, I'm a puppet. So we have to say human. Since they just simply just don't let you in if you say puppet. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Krat. Why do I keep hearing like Xbox noises? Is it like achievements popping up on them? But it's not on, I'm not seeing them on the screen, so I don't know where they're coming from. Into pretty much the start of the game, I think, Hotel Prat. Like that was pretty much the tutorial we just did. And title screen. still pretty surprised they didn't change the name of this. I've been covering this game since it was first revealed. And I always thought Lies of P was like a dumb name, to be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's a bad name. It's a really bad name. This intro, I don't think, was in the demo, so this is new to us. You could have literally called it just Puppet, and it would be better than Lies of P. Puppet Souls. Blood Puppet. Puppet Ring. Darling, the butler's gone crazy. Is this just eat the rich, but the poor are puppets? Here, governor, I'm trying to stay quiet under chariot. That's dark. All those legs. Beautiful um, art direction in this game, though, I will say. Bad name aside, art direction is... Mm. Gorgeous is what it is. She's the butterfly. I'm so happy to see you. <clears throat> I am Sophie. 
Sophia. I've been waiting for you. Sophia is a great name. All over the city of Krop to find you. You must have questions. Geppetto will have answers. But we have to find him first. He was last seen on Elysian Boulevard. All of Krot is dangerous for humans. And that neighborhood is one of the scariest. Please find Geppetto. Alrighty, level up through Sophia using the Ergo in your possession. I'm just going to keep doing health and stamina. I'm going to do stamina. I'm going to focus stamina first because that is... Be aware of your flaws and work on them, you know. I think he's in shock. Jenny is fine. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Wait, take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful. Clever one. But why does everyone talk like this in all of these challenging games that are like this? All of the characters all speak so slowly. Do they not? My prediction with this is that the more you level up or continue to play the piano through the game, by the end of it will be like, run, dun, 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 and like playing some crazy stuff, but. Let's say hello to Grandma. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonio, and this is my hotel. Is that whiskey in there? Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard, and he never came back. If he doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> it's my dad you're talking about? Oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Gimme. Please find that old man. Someone's memory. Show off your clothes. We got a new outfit. Look at the, uh, the profile picture there, like, compared to my actual face. I look like five years old on the icon here on the character info. Look, new costume. Which one do we prefer? Dun dun. I feel like a little sailor. I don't think it changes anything. Either. I'm feeling the white shirt, to be honest, just because the game's so dark. I feel like it helps us um, stand out. And then, so she gave us the gesture, show off clothes. Oh. Doing a little moonwalk. So if I hold A, that's my extra bag, right? But I think you wanted me to show off the other costume. So let me pop that back on. Get a load of this, Grandma. You have no oh. idea so many secrets. Thanks for keeping me company. Tell me about lying. I see you're here. That means you can lie. Your lies are a rare ability. People on the outside are still afraid of puppets. Lie to protect yourself and find your path. Okay. Now, look at my clothes. It suits you. For a moment there, you look just like... Oh, forgive me, I 
Randy. Just like who? When you get to my age, your memories are like good friends. And just as distracting. <laughs> Did he make me after in the image of his son? Tell me. Sorry, making a mess. Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of such Hotel Crot. Welcome to Ho Right. What are you selling? Fables, magazines, sawtooth wheel. Kite? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. What you got? I think how weighty that thing would be. On your arm. Bulky. Legion arm. Special equipment equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Sound of it alone. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. If any of your weapons need work. Okay. Any of my weapons? Sorry, that was inappropriate. <laughs> I'm playing too much Baldur's Escape 3. Is there romance in this game? Can I romance you, Jenny? Can I hang out with the butterfly lady? Right, let's get back out there, I think. Find Daddy. Out there somewhere. Do I use this? Let's go to... Place. Teleport's not a stargazer. The alley, station plaza. That's where I was, right? So the exit must actually be up there. Sorry, don't want to do this. Out here. Out the back of the hotel crotch. you obtain by defeating a boss is valuable. I gotta always remember, like, the items that you get that when you use them give you more ergo, because I always sit on those. Elysian Boulevard entrance on a cloudy morning. It's a cloudy morning on the Elysian Boulevard. Um... It's raining blood. Hey, let's be more careful. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood. I hate these guys. But don't be alarmed. My name is Gemini. We'll talk later when we're safe. Okay. Please welcome to the stage. P. I wonder if we'll ever live through something like that. You know how we all went through the old pandy there as a sort of a people? Can I go in there? Why is the light on in there? You know, we all experienced lockdown and everything. What if we experienced a puppet uprising or something like that? A robot uprising? Like a sort of few year period of us going through that. Wouldn't it be strange? I mean, it's already I feel so strange how things have sort of just back to normal. We don't even talk about those times anymore, you know. And it was such a crazy big deal. Sorry. 
turn it down a bit whilst we're just doing... Oh! Combat stuff, because it is a bit loud. But imagine we go through some robot uprising and AI thing and years of us sort of having to clear the streets of robots and... I wonder if we will live to do something like that. Because as global issues go... A, uh... A disease was always my least favourite of the apocalypses, I've got to be honest. You know, I'd rather be fighting zombies ever since I saw Outbreak. And the, and the idea of that being possible was introduced to me. I was just petrified of the thing. <laughs> what was that? There's something stirring. Ladder to kick down there. Elysian Boulevard was a regular rich people row. You wanted fancy boutiques and shops. <laughs> no place better. That was long ago. Before the puppet frenzy. But what about fancy boots? Don't worry about the boutiques. Fragments cross dimensions and grant human wishes. If you wish for it desperately enough, and it disappeared. Give me clothes. Frame. Equipped from menu, equipment, defense. Defense parts, frame. Physical damage reduction, 7.3. Oh, can go up to 11 or 15, but the weight goes up. Parts that enhance puppet frames, made to order item. So I guess if I'm weightier, am I like less agile? Am I less able to dodge, but I've got a 15 damage reduction? Is that what we're thinking? Like, is it more stamina? Or it's just better armor? If you had to go through an apocalypse, what apocalypse are we are we talking? Do you, do you fancy your chances in like a zombie thing? And let's do um, slow zombies, not running zombies, because that's terrifying. You know what else would suck? Floods. Hey. Oh, that. Ah. I'm alive. Somehow. Back to the ladder. Like, um, the day after tomorrow? Is that what that film's called? Crazy. That would be scary. Zombies would be a laugh, you know? We could, um, we could all hide in the supermarket or the mall together, like in Dawn of the Dead. We can just have a fun time. We can play board games and we can just be really quiet and we can grow our own food. And it'll be cool. I want to try the... Sir! Right. Well, that didn't do me any good, did it? Bloody die now. I've got one HP left. Need a bonfire. Baby 
He needs a bonfire. So I guess I could go down there and go back, or I could see if there's one up ahead. At least we know we can get up here fairly quick. I think, yeah, a guy comes out here. I remember this from the demo. I think there's a bonfire literally in the room behind him, so I'm going to try and get past him. Is there? Or did I imagine it? Oh dear, oh dear, I've made a terrible, terrible error in judgment. There is no bonfire here, I'm afraid. You good, mate? Hello? Bro. Hey, don't be throwing stuff, please. <gasps> I was not expecting that extreme charge. I should have gone down the ladder. I've caused myself a mischief now. I'm gonna have to go and get the uh get those back. in your rush. So, ah, I kicked this down here. There we go. Let's go straight up here. No messing about. Which means I can have my vengeance upon you. See if I can deal with this guy this time. Oh, there's a little item around that way, actually. Stamina, stamina, stamina! Don't die. Don't die. Do not die. That's the most important thing. It's so hard. I do not understand that white thing because I'm hit, I hit him with holding one, I hit him with holding the other, and he didn't stagger. A bit confused. I lost all of the points. Sort of all of the experience points disappear if you die on the way back to get them. That's uh, that's painful. <sighs> okay. I gotta kill a bunch of stuff again. fight my way back through to where I was just because I need to collect some XP. No. Good 
good practice anyway. We're not winning, we're what? Learning. That's right, well done. Very proud of you. You're doing so well, you know? I just want you to know that. Every time you fail, it just makes me more proud of you when you try again the next time. It's you I'm talking to. Fair viewer. Dear listener. Never give up. I wish I could stop hitting the wall. I'm gonna be really careful next to these edges now. Don't you dare. See how long it takes Morph to lose his mind. Part one. Will he snap? Will the anger emerge? So that was like a mini boss, so they don't respawn, so I don't have to fight that big guy every time. F those books. This chandelier battler. Excuse you. Get over here. Got Mortal Kombat to play. Pretty excited, actually. I love Mortal Kombat. Probably my favorite fighting series of all time is Tekken, but Mortal Kombat is up there. I enjoy it a lot. I like their story modes, honestly. Hey, I wonder how I get that. Huh? How would I get over there? Am I supposed to scooch along the edge? That's a bit scary. What if I fall? What is that? Electric blitz. Abrasive. There's a ladder up to here. I wonder where this comes from. There's something down there too. Should I go down there? The bistro, champagne, fine dining, how much a machina. So satisfying sliding down like that. Hidden Moonstone. A dim fragment. And a shortcut. Which comes out where? Back near the beginning. I think. Yes, okay. Do 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 Pretty satisfying so far. I mean, we're what, one hour, two hours in, something like that? Not entirely sure, actually, to be honest with you. But I'm um, enjoying it, even though I've kind of like played through this bit before because the demo. But I figured I would do it again. And I think I'm enjoying it more this time around, actually. full health and hopefully we find a sort of stargazer soon. Stop calling them bonfires if I can. Can I not hook this guy? Is 
did not dodge that. I tried to sidestep. Dude, with the throwing. like so irritating. Dogs barking and babies crying. Ah my days. He's got a gun. He's got a bomb. Hit him. There we go. Please, I'm so low on health right now. Got two thousand. It's gotta be a stargazer. It's a ladder. It's a guy. He's got a brush. He's got a brush. I don't like these dudes. Oh my God, man! Do you want to run across half the map and get me? A bit rude, isn't it? Market merchants who sell items in various. Imagine getting to read the tips. So instead of going up there. through the shortcut. It should get us back fairly quickly. To the goodies we just dropped. This ladder. Am I misremembering that in the demo it was blood and not oil? I feel like I remember our shirt being covered in blood. I don't remember all of this oil. Maybe it's my blood when I get hurt? I'm not sure. Also, what was that pipe I picked up? Can I have a second weapon yet? No. Any amulets? Nope. Picking things up. I have no idea what they do. Ah, it's a thrown object. Okay. Let me equip those wheels, because I remember those being pretty useful. When you've got someone on low HP and you just need to dink them. Is in lockdown. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. I guess the best thing I can do with those guys is just block it. Let them run and then just. Safest. There's my stuff. And a total miss. And hitting against the wall. Oh, he's really messed it up here. And he's lost all of his points. Absolute joke, that is, isn't it? Should have just ran and picked him up. The weapon hitting into the wall when everything is bloody walls here is actually driving me balmy. And I don't think the reason that I... I think I didn't experience it much before because I had... 
much more of a thrusting weapon. I think when I did the middle um, style, I had more of like a rapier, or kind of like a pokey thing. So now, being way more slashy and a big old arc. Causing an issue. Oh, bang, 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 bang. a test of um, my will to keep going in life. Right. Let's get ourselves back there quickly. Before we lose our mind. Losing his mind, and I'm reaping all the benefits. Dun, dun, dun. So, I mean, it's a shortcut, but it's a bit of a pain of a shortcut, isn't it? Because every time I come up here, these two are very annoying. Better. Can we not? All right, there we go. Back where we were, albeit with uh, slightly less points. Stargazer, okay. Wait for the shock to go away, I suppose. Big boy doing a stomp. He's a big boy. Boys up on a romp. He's a geezer. Maybe I can uh, just get past him to the bomb. Like I 
a sneaky little puppet. Didn't see me. Did see me, but I'm just gonna use this real quick. Can't use it because there's an enemy coming. Cool. You're basically a boss. Go, 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 go. What am I going to do with you? That's not going to help. Dude, relax. What the hell was that noise? like feeling so defeated through that whole fight I was just like I have so little health and I have no potion to drink somehow pulled it off there you go I'm Jiminy your friendly puppet guide or friendly guide puppet I don't know one of those I'm also a friend of Sophia's Last time I woke up, Sophia was there because... Because she woke me up. But I'm sure there are still other memories in there. Sorry. Must be the shock. Bear with me, and I'll do my best to guide you. Oh, I'll bear with you. For I am a bear. Um, let me see what that life amulet was if I equip it. An amulet can be equipped on a puppet. Information and memories that are useful for movement can be imprinted on the subject. So it increases max HP. Cool. Why, hello! <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive. I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. Don't worry. I won't cause any trouble. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. What do you have? Electric coil stick head. Is that a weapon? There's a weapon for 1200. How do I compare it to what I have? Why am I? Why am I, son? Can we call this? Not yet. Gotta do it from below. Okay. Next area. no idea why that made me jump. I was actually looking at him when I like, point the gun and shoot it still made me jump. Guns are scary, okay? Maybe I should um, go back and spend my points and level up, actually. So this is something that took me ages to work out playing the demo where I was just thinking every time I got to a stargazer, how come I can't how comes I can't level up? 
and it's because you have to go back to um, Hotel Krut here and level up with Sophia rather than just doing it at the Stargazers. So you have to get to a Stargazer and then come back here and talk to her. I'll use my power to help painful thinking of how many I dropped. Now, what do we else do we have? So we have uh, weight and legion arm. Physical attack could do with going up. I feel like I'm having to hit things quite often. Is that going up by advance? I'm going to get some info on what these mean. That puts up my legion arm physical attack. Techniques putting up physical and my damage reduction, my resistances. But so is motivity, so I'm not sure. My legion arm attack is going up by two. But everything else is going up by the same, so I'm not entirely sure. But I would like a bit more physical attack, I think. And life. Thanks, doll. I'll be back. Are you a puppet? What are you? Because you're a magical butterfly lady. Maybe you're a human. Because Geppetto is human. He's still alive. So maybe some are surviving, like that old lady there. And she has the weird stuff in the IV. All right, we're back. Try and not get spooked by these two this time. You are paying my puppet butt. aim up with my scorpion on, so that's cool. Oh, it's character will die if you do this. No, don't do that. Heights are scary. Heights make me go a bit, but I wouldn't say it's a. I can sense something strange. Phobia. Jeepers! Is that a butterfly? Where are you going? Why is the air go reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. Occasionally, a dimensional butterfly appears in parts of Krat. Monarch Slam can detect the butterfly lighting up red to point out its location. When the character is near the hiding butterfly, it appears. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly disappears into another dimension. Kill it to get materials. I'd just like to clarify that I knew that I was supposed to kill it. I wasn't just murderously seeing a butterfly and wishing. to like distract me to you. Oh, there's a little pickup. A book. Put my little lamp on, I think. A bit dark in it. Wish I'd figured that out a couple of hours ago. The 
looking for her babe. Oh, this must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. Well, it's the weirdest pickup line I've ever heard. For most people, this is their last stop. Nine one. May I ask you a favor? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good. A baby must be with its mother. I'll find her. Thank you so much, kind one. Please hurry. Heart scales spreading across my eyes. Awful. Before I lose my sight, please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? Oh, I hope everybody's safe. Where'd that big uh, boss go? This guy is hard. I just ran past him in the demo because he's annoying. I feel like if I perfectly parry you, you should at least react. Stop what you're doing. Not just continue your animation. There's no health key. What are you doing? Oh, I'm scared. Long time to try and do that. It almost feels pointless to perfectly parry because they just carry on their animation. They don't actually... They don't sort of go like, boom, and get stunned and then you hit them. Officer, let's have a go. Please bat and head so I can switch weapon now. Oh my gosh, we got a new weapon. It's blunt, it does slightly heavier, and it does blunt damage instead of sword damage. B and D. Physical attack is less. What is it like though? Let's see. Please baton. As your equipment gets heavier, your movement speed and stamina recovery speed slow down. Eh. I guess it's just a different style, like... 
instead of... Like, what's the difference? If it does less damage, why would I use it? I'm confused. 94 plus 12 to 100 plus 12. And it weighs more. It slightly charges pulse cells quicker, I think. Less fable charge. Damage reduction while guarding is higher. And different fable arts, but I'm not sure, but we'll see, I guess. I'll give it a go. Did earn it. What was the police helmet, actually? Is that like something for me? Accessory? No, like I thought it said police helmet. See anything. Maybe it was part of the weapon. Well, first time I beat that guy. Blunt damage feels like it maybe has a little bit of kick to it. I don't know if that's just how they're reacting, but... Okay, shortcut. Comes down this way. What's out here? People. Things. Moonstone, throwing cell. this I'm sneaking up on. Whoa! That works. Star fragments. What are you chomping on? Gemini emergency protection. I will never use any of these things. Oh, another one of you. Why don't we do this? I didn't want it to get me! I regret everything. I should have gone up that ladder. Oh no, what is this? Resident Evil? Ah! coming through the windows in Resident Evil is top five jump scares of my life, playing that as a kid. Now, what the heck, because... That's meant to be a shortcut, and I don't... I think I was meant to release this lift, actually. Shoot. Lift shoot. Lift shoot. Uh. P and his big old baton. So now, I mean, you are a boss, so you're not going to respawn really here. So that's nice and clear here. Oh, yes, it is. Excuse me. Don't die. I'm guessing this is the lift. Repair. And then we'll be able to come straight down. So what did I do? I went through here. Goods are around there somewhere. Yeah. 
Oh, it's another way here. Is this actually where I ended up? Is this the dead end I ended up down? Is this mine? Nope. Anything else? Any secrets? Mrs. Potts's shop. Wait for that to clear. we go. Bum, 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 bum. Doggy. Good boy. Ladder go up. Now, sir, I would like to collect my points before you do away with me. So I'm just gonna... Scooch! Oh, I am being far too lackadaisical. Nope. Oh, there's a lot of you coming. Oh, yeah. Slashing son of a gun. Come on, guys, make it a fair fight. Don't jump me two on one, you know? Sneak up on you and get a sucker punch. Not quite. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Finish him. Good job. Oh, it's so exciting when that comes off and you have hardly any health. It's like, oh my god, I did it. I miss you, Murphy. What? <coughs> Murphy. Who is it? Is that you, Murphy? Murphy. Oh, I guess not. Sorry, I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. It is me. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <clears throat> As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I think I killed him. I wish I was like him. <clears throat> I think he's dead, sorry. Wait for that to clear and then get some goodies from down there. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Let me know if you are. This is obviously a bit different to the stuff that I would usually do, but I do enjoy these kinds of games, so I'm giving this one a go. I've obviously covered it a bunch on TikTok and Instagram. Um, it's always done well there, talking about it from the beginning. Many, many millions of views. Um, did they send me a copy of the game to say thanks? No. Did I even get an email from them? No. I have to buy the game myself. Yes, I know it's a hard life. 
I covered this game first all the way back in 2021, and it's like been one of my pinned posts. It's one of the most views I've got. It's like 10 million something for one of them, but every time I post it, it does millions. Should have been nice, you know? Get a little acknowledgement. I can't complain though. I get sent very cool stuff from some very cool people. These guys want to ignore me. It's on them. I'm not bitter. Right. Where is the bonfire? Because I would quite like to spend the points I have. Um, I think we should run back to it. Is it not through here? I think if I come around here, it's these two. Yeah, and then go back to the bonfire real quick. Ah. I am, of course, joking. And it's on Game Pass anyway, so... Get wrecked. Let's go back to Hotel Krat. Uh, but yeah, let me know in a comment, because, you know, if you want to see more, if I should... Actually, don't tell me if I shouldn't do it, because that would be rude. I mean, I don't like rude comments. Hopefully it's just something for you to extra extra something for you to have on on I'll a use my power to help you. other monitor and hang out with me for a bit, I hope. I'm slightly heavy right now, so maybe we should put some points into capacity so that my stamina is more balanced. Perhaps. That still left me slightly heavy, though. Also, I'm going to use these things. These ergo points. Put them on my belt and use them. Five hundred each. Hundred. It's like, this must be so annoying for her, but she probably thinks it's like my stim and makes me feel better, so she's being really polite. What else do we have? Those. And I have a rare ego for a 5,000. A treasure hunter may want this rare ego. So I guess I'm choosing whether or not I would absorb that and take the 5,000 or hold on to it until I meet a treasure hunter. See how desperate I get, I guess. I think it's a 300 each. May as well use those whilst I'm here. I'll use my power to now health better damage now why am I slightly heavy P organ ability. <laughs> I'm sorry. It literally says purpose. P organ. Ability activation part. So this thing activates my P organ. A colorful tiny ergo fragment activates a special ability when equipped to the P organ. They know what they're doing. This isn't a language thing. Surely. There's a special kind of ergo with different colors and vibrations. Vibrations? I'm not even going to go there. Upgrades. So these moonstones upgrade my weapon blade up to three. Maybe I should use these with Eugenie. I know my way around a weapon. We upgrade my weapon. If you have moonstones, Eugenie can help upgrade a weapon's blade. Ah. Costs ergo too. 
that's that's probably going to be the better way rather than spending points. But am I meant to sell things was my point if I'm heavy, like I'm carrying too much stuff? I'm at 67%. Star fragments, cross dimensions, maybe able to summon someone who wants to help save. Oh yeah, that's how you summon like an AI to help you. else that's like usable or to sell. I want to save my throwing things for the bosses, honestly. Those collectibles don't weigh anything. The frames kind of weigh. What's this? Workshop Union Standard Insulation converter. Seems like it's got better resistances on everything. Okay, probably should have had that equipped a long time ago whenever I picked that up. I wonder if these frames are essentially what we were picking at the beginning. And if by changing that, I've kind of slowed myself down. Because there's a ba it's a basic frame, a lightweight frame, and then the heavy frame. So I think I've, like, inadvertently switched to the um, gear of the bastard, I think. Anyway. Let's go back. See if we can't finish this first boss on this run. Might be asking a lot. It is two in the morning. Bum 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 bum. Let's go down here. Thirsty tonight. On my second pint. Of squash, by the way, not of alcohol. I like morphs drinking pints. Squash is like, I guess, cordial for the Americans. You guys don't really use squash. Switch weapon again. There we go, because this has much better damage now, I think. There we go. I feel like my health bar is looking pretty big. Oh, I think the boss is actually quite close. Or oh, no, there is a boss here though. I remember this. puppets. All puppets will be destroyed. In the trailer, they used, this used to, out, used to say APAB. Like in the old trailer, I mean. Unless that's still somewhere in the game. I don't remember this. You know what caused the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait. I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! That's my father in there, you donkey, you ass. <laughs> Are you a 
dream or a nightmare. Stop showing up already. Oh yeah. Oh no. Ah, excuse me, how do you move like that? Are you a dream or a nightmare? Stop showing up Saturn, that's no way for a human to move. all of us. No. No, 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 no. We were doing so well. those stabs and now I haven't been able to get any. My stamina is taking forever to go up. Ah. Destroyed for sure. Devil. I thought I was going to do that first time, but... Once you start overthinking it and getting too uh, scared, you know, you kind of hesitate. And it's a big problem. And it's something we can learn from for life. Spank that ass. Not time for them. Let's try the other weapon. Upgraded the other one, but a dream or a nightmare. Stop showing up already. This stamina is terrible. Ah, <laughs> oh, get the stabbies. Do it, P.
Why is he putting the bullets up? a human. And here comes Daddy. As P realizes that he actually killed a human and broke the covenant. I hope you enjoyed this first part of Lies of P. There's more to come, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out one of these videos that's on the screen right now. Until next time, good night.